All right, guys. Yep, two videos in one day, second upload of the day, because the one I uploaded earlier was supposed to be last night, but I couldn't get the computer to do it. It wouldn't cooperate. It actually took all night. It uploaded overnight. It took 10 hours to upload a 20 minute video and four different attempts at that. So since you were so patient and I didn't give you a video yesterday, you're getting two today. So here's a little Aldi dumpster haul. Watch that beautiful bean footage. I don't care about what they say. I'm coming back like a boomerang. Guess where we are? We're at the dumpster. Look over here, there's an apple on the ground. A beautiful apple. I mean, that's a really nice apple. It's firm. I don't want squirrels or anything to come into the driveway. I'll put the apple over there for the squirrels. I'm not gonna take the driveway apple. All right, let's see if there's actually anything in the dumpster. Oh, oh yes, there is. Oh my God, there's a ton of apples. I got some bananas. Got some raspberries, they look a little moldy. All right, I'm gonna jump in and grab what I can. There might be some good tomatoes in there, but some of them look really mushy. There's jam, there's a jar of jam. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, it's cold. Oh, oh, it's cold. Ouch, my foot's stuck. Ow. Attractive. Got a huge bag of grapes. Mushrooms. Oh look, I moved the box and there's one of my favorite things. Ooh, a pineapple. Yes. just any lemonade, but premium lemonade, with the date of April 1st. Ooh, ooh. Here's something I've never gotten before in a dumpster. Cool. Oh my gosh. Another box of fish and lemonade. All right. It's time to climb out. What am I going to climb on? I will use this box. And nimbly hoist myself up. Oh, so nimbly. Very nimbly up the chimbly. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Just as I was swinging one leg over, the box gave way and fell out from under my other leg. So I had to ah, shift my weight very quickly onto the out leg from the in leg. Ooh. Okay. to load my little mess into the car. So I got everything home and it's really, really cold outside, colder than my fridge. So I just left all the food out here on the tables because I had to take the girls to a swimming lesson. So then it snowed and everything's frozen and it's really cold out. So here's that Aldi dumpster haul. Some of it's inside, but I'm leaving this fish out here because it's so cold and there's so much of it. I can't really fit it in the fridge or freezer, but basically I have two boxes of this salmon and uh, the date on it is January 16th I don't know when that was <sighs> but anyway like I said like I always say we'll open it up smell it if it smells okay 
we'll cook it. I told Daddy I got all this fish for the cats, and of course he he wants it. And I said, well, of course you can have it if it's good. I mean, there's a lot of fish. I'm sure the cats would share with you. So there's this whole box, plus the second box that also has the pineapple juice, a few of the Granny Smith apples. I'm going to cut the apples up and dehydrate a whole mess of them, but oh my goodness. So anywho, I'm going to bring one of these salmons in right now and open it up and start cooking it if it seems like it's okay for the kitties. We've got the two premium lemonades, these bananas. We've also got several bags of apples. We've got the pineapple, the package of mango slices, which I opened and ate a bunch of in the car, some mushrooms, organic spring mix, hearts of romaine, celery, grapes, three more bags of Granny Smith apples, some tomatoes that got kind of squishy, salad kits, more mushrooms, a brand new jar of strawberry preserves, uh, two packages of Elevation Bars. This was not ripped open in the dumpster. That's just, that's just what my family does. And there's another box of these somewhere, different flavor. I guess I left that in the car. A nice jug of orange juice. The date is in April. And the top's not even busted. Here's a pot of salmon. I was going to poach two of the pieces of salmon. And then Frugal Daddy just kind of took over and opened a whole bunch of them and put them in a big pot of water. But he's already tried it and he said it's fine. And I have a big slab cooling for the kittens. I want to thank you all so much for watching today. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing that and checking out our lengthy library of videos. Please give us a thumbs up down below, leave your comments, and share this video on social media like Facebook. Yeah, that took me a second. And uh, follow us on Instagram at Freakin' Frugal Dumpster Diving. All right, Dumpsterinos, until we dive again, stay safe, stay sane, stay snowy, stay sarsaparilla. I got to plan that out better. Stay out of jail, stay in the dumpster, and stay just the way you are, because that's how I love you. Bye.